Hello everybody, it is me, the funny German, as you've always known me. And today I have some big news for you. They added a new button to this. UI. But this is not why I am here. I am here to show you the most pointless focus tree in this Hearts of Iron 4 game. It's of course the focus tree of Hungary. And Hungary, as you all know, very strong country. Full of only good politicians. And if you've played Hearts of Iron, you also know Hungary focus tree. Very good, very strong. I genuinely don't know why I'm... What, what, why? <laughs> Seriously, it's just... Why? I don't want to do this! I don't want to play Hungary! Fine. We are going to do it. We are going to play... Oh. Do I have to do this? I mean, I, I can just tell you about the focus tree. I don't actually have to play the focus tree, you know? I can also just, you know, um, do these things and... Oh, right, I can't start the game yet. I have to first uh, do this. There we go. And uh, is there anything else I can do? Uh, I guess we can build. Oh, God, we have. We that's not a whole lot of building slots. And that's not. Oh. So, um, how's the weather for you guys? Uh, it's starting to get a little bit hot again. It's uh, May, where we are. Um, this summer. Uh, not really for us. Mostly rain in Germany, but I've heard there are heat waves in Spain. At this point, my recording software can just crash, or my whole PC. A fire alarm. Okay, no, that's that's just yeah. Uh, economic intervention. The good path of the hungry fox tree, which I also don't think anybody except for the AI has ever done up to this point. If you play hungry, there's only one path that you pick: the Habsburg. I mean, you can also get the democratic king, which. I guess you can? Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just start. The thing that's relatively cool about Hungary or about this focus tree as well is if the Soviets go ahistorical, which I have thought about staging this where I just tag over to the Soviets and then I complete their focus. I have thought about this, but I also don't want to do this. Because this focus will break. Since I talked about every single path already, and there's not another path, I guess we can talk about, you know, you get a research slot here and then another research slot here, which I guess it's kind of cool. You get three research slots as hungry. You get, wait, you get six research slots as hungry? No, th those are, yeah, those are, I, I was about to say, because six research slots is, I just checked again, and it's the US, Democratic Germany, and New Zealand, and technically other countries that have a unique focus tree and then pop into a civil war with a generic one. I, I mean, it's not even worth it to go down. I, I guess we can get, yeah, sure. Sure, let's just go communist. Because of the Treaty of Cringenon, we are not allowed to do anything anyway. Yes. The old countries, they all have silent workers. It's very good. It's interesting that they steered away from this, you know. Like, every country that gets reworked doesn't get a basic silent workhorse. Which, I guess, like, yeah, I get it. Okay, now we need to wait for this. So we can get secret rearmament and then increase our precious industry. We now need to wait for 30% for Kump. Oh my god. Can I change that somehow? There, surely there's a... Surely there's a communist guy. Yeah, okay, we have a communist revolutionary. So I don't have to wait until the end of the game to actually do something. But I suppose I'll first get partial mob now. And then increase our factories from... Ooh, we just got two factories. Hooray! And I kind of want to not do anything now. Like... The PP is actually kind of good. 70 days for one research bonus for industry. We can do one of two things. We can get either Tildy for the PP gain or the revolutionary so we can go down our focus earlier, but also there's no point. I'll indulge you for a moment. What can we... Oh, look, I can't explain it now. We have to do something else. You can shoot Horfi. You get 5% recruitable pop, which I will say that is actually pretty good. And then you can get the mil military academy with the Soviet Union, which I s assume is just a research agreement thing. And then you can go down one of two paths. You can join the common turn. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's just hard to buy on. We shoot Horphy here, and then here Horphy retires, because our current country leader retires. <laughs> Still, that's kind of funny. We can join the common turn of create our own faction. Like, there, there's nothing else here. We can create our own faction. And then we can intervene in Czechoslovakia and Romania, which mainly just means the Soviet Union gets an event. Oh god, that's not... Oh god, both of these divisions are ass. What are you doing, Horfi? I think I'll have to shoot you. We are really spoiled for choice here. 10% research speed. <laughs> that's such a weird... That's such a weird focus. Usually when they go for the synthetic focuses, they always hard code it or, you know, they, they tell you before you research it. You can even do some of these before you research synthetic oil experiments. I don't mind this. I'm just confused why they did it for this one focus, because I don't think it's in any other of those synthetic oil experiment focuses. Okay, those buffs are actually fire, but I also really like the 10% research speed in general. But the 10% research speed... I mean, just think about this, it's 10%. Ah, uh, but I think I'm gonna go domestic arms industry anyway. It's actually kind of interesting because there's so many things I want to do. There's so much to fix in this country and we're not really strong. And I'm just thinking how I'm the most efficient way of how I'll tackle this problem. No, no, I don't think I'll go for support flame tanks this game. That's just too expensive. We have too much to fix. We won't have the industry here. Wow. 70 days for 25 army XP? That's not a whole lot. I think I'm gonna go down the air efforts. And boom, we got the egg. Huh, I never knew- uh, I guess he doesn't have any special things. Can I join the Soviets like this? Join the Soviets ASAP. And there we go. We joined the Soviets. We can stop improving relations. Interesting. An air combat training specialist. Don't think I've seen that before. Uh, actually, we can bypass that. Blood agreement. Da -da -da. Czechoslovakia is just sad that we trampled over the treaty. Which means we can finally build military factories without the 50% debuff. And I'm also a little bit scared about Czechoslovakia. Yep. <sighs> That's what I was scared of. So let's just rush down here. Wow! 70 days for this! For occupied territory. Oh, what economy? Yes, look at the industry! And it's a bit of a bummer that I'm so close to the front line. Because if I could just produce my planes as hungry, you know, as this small nation, this could be pretty fun. Like, I don't have to worry, I wouldn't have to worry about anything, but now I have to worry about holding the line and uh, for that I would also like to have a connection with the Soviets just so they can put the troops into me. If the Germans ever start getting some funny ideas, and I know a lot of funny Germans, so they probably have some funny ideas. That's an interesting flag. Stalin! What do you mean you turned down this offer? For 100 pp? Nope, we will press on. Romania refuses to give up Transylvania. Mm. Anger's a poor guide in war, we will bide our time. Or we can mobilize. Yeah, I don't think Germany is gonna work. I don't think anybody likes me, but I might as well... Wait, what? Did I just get an event twice? Okay, it just looks so stupid, man. God, our industry just sucks ass. Interesting, we can technically release Czechoslovakia. Should actually be pretty good. If we release Czechoslovakia, we won't have to man this front line, which means until Yugoslavia falls, we'll only have to man this little bit of the front line and then the weird penis into uh, Romania. And then Romania should be doable with the Soviets' help. Yeah, let's release Czechoslovakia. And I think for the first time in my life, I might have to use the convert factory button. Uh, but we might still be able to justify on someone. This action is currently paused because of lack of PP? That's the first time I've seen that. Uh, I kind of don't want to... S <laughs> I kind of don't want to attack them. If I attack them right now, I'll get clapped. Oh, thank you, Romania. Oh, come on. I've not done anything. UK. Only just, just a little bit of expanding. I even released Czechoslovakia and they're independent. We're gonna make sure that they are gonna be big again and independent. I hate you, UK. Okay, so uh, th that is seriously, seriously, I can't 
expand anymore. Oh, this will suck. This will suck so hard. At least we have Transylvania. This way, the Soviets will send troops into our land before Barbarossa, and then they'll get encircled with us and die. Huh? It's Barbarossa. Already? <gasps> Building slots. What is? Huh? I despise you. I just hate you, Paradox. Why can I not make a front line in Vojvodina? Why are the Germans not coming? I mean, they're still occupied in Greece and they might be scared of me, of my mighty army and my mighty air force, which... Oh, let's just shoot it. Nothing of value was lost. Do something. The US is in the war and they still haven't attacked us. I guess the communist hungry focus tree is stronger than I... Woman. Because the Germans are too scared to attack. That's the only thing I can do. I'm playing communist hungry. I, I'm not allowed to expand and now Germany isn't attacking us. I'm stuck in a limbo. I'm stuck in a void. I don't care anymore. I will get my claimed state. That also just reminded me I need airports. But for real, it's 1942. If I don't declare war now, then I don't think we are gonna sure Japan come join us. If I don't declare the war now, then nothing is gonna change ever. Now you shall retreat at 25%. Yes, two convoys. Thank you. I will make use of those two convoys somehow. Oh, actually, thank you, Soviets. Soviets are actually pushing. Oh, I have such a small army, I can just go for staff office plan on everyone. Yo, China is doing insane. They killed Manguko. And then, well, they have a little bit of a problem here, but they can fix that. God, there are so many divisions here. And there's no German planes to be found. <gasps> just a few. Attack those boys! Kill them! Yes! Oh god, we are running out of fuel. Surely you can offer me a little bit of fuel. My brother in Christ, you have almost 1 million fuel. I have 11k and my fighters are shredding right now. Okay, I guess it's time to sell my soul to the Soviets since I do need oil to prop up this war effort. Where's the juicy oil? Now it's back there. It's gonna be a weird pin maneuver that I'm doing right now. There we go, I saved it. I need to take out Romania. If Romania falls, then there is, there might be a future for communist Hungary. Oh God, yeah, that's that's such a bad tile to hold. I think I need to do something like this. Get some special forces out there. Do something like this and then get you here and then do staff office plan. And they should be able to push here. Yes, I just have too many troops to reinforce here. Oh, nice. Yes, we're getting to a point where this is looking very nice, very nice indeed. Fall of Rome? Oh no, we're losing planes, but probably not me, probably just the Soviet planes. Because I actually have building standards, or plane standards? Construction standards? Quality standards! There we go, another pocket. Ho ho ho! There was 220k divisions. Manpower. 220k divisions. <laughs> that would have been ah, that would have been a war crime. Or oh, five. How far is Romania into? It's just nothing. Yet. And they would have gotten away with it if you weren't for that super kid, Bliet. I can always use the crappy, uh, all of the captured stuff. I can always use that stuff. But why would I when I have such? brilliantly designed fighters as the RMI-3ZG. By the name you can tell that it's amazing. So, uh, how's your day been going? Um, the weather, very um, May, uh, cold, um, rainy, Germany, uh, heatwave, Spain. Hearts of iron, am I right? What about airline food? <laughs> Why is there no supply up here? I guess there's an, there's one. Let's continue attacking here. And there's... Actually, there's a division in Bucharest. That's unusual. It's gotta be a bug. Oh, if we can take Brazov. Yes, Romania is gone. We might be able to take Bulgaria out. Probably not, since I don't have anyone in a good position here. But we can at least snake. And actually, because Yugoslavia... Or, well... Whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. Yeah, I suppose that's a nice way to describe Yugoslavia. But because they block the axis, we might still be able to do something here. <gasps> we have a... We don't even have the con... What? <laughs> okay. I was about to say. That would have been weird. 
Oh god, it's the huge Balkan tank again. I thought it was only limited to Greece, but Bulgaria has it as well. The super heavy. And now it's mine. Slight complication since I have not invented it. I, I have the World War One tank, at least something. Although I'd rather have no tank than a World War One tank, if we are being perfectly honest. Why is urban warfare so hard? Uh, we should be able to take Sofia and then Bulgaria should also cap. Yes. Oh, the Axis is getting weaker and weaker. One small member at a time. This is a weird game for the Allies. We have Ireland, we have Liberia and Turkey. Wait a minute. Iceland joined the Allies? Communist Hungary is just a huge glitch in the matrix. I hate it when, I, when I'm stupid, which happens very often. Let's extend the front line to also include Budapest. I don't want to lose my capital, especially now. We're doing so well. Sure, 15% war score is not a whole lot, but hey, we're, we're hungry. If we get anything out of this war except for being crippled, then that's a victory. My goal right now will be to push into Montenegro. Okay, uh, that sucks. So, I'm just gonna hope that Yugo can take them out. If I get mill access from Yugo, I'll ha have to give them every single tile back that I own. Which I don't really want. Liberation of Warsaw. Oy, oy, oy. 300k. And we can finally move on from this front line. Retake Hungarian core land. And of course, southern Slovakia of Czechoslovakia. Germans are gonna fall soon, so let's just auto push here. Get a bit more war score going. I don't think the game is made for communist Hungary. I think the game is just stuck in a different timeline where it thinks, Wake yeah, up, been gonna go down and get the Habsburg prince, war. which is why my front line is still over here. The Swiss also joined the Allies. That's apart from South America, every single nation that can join the Allies, every single one joined. Oh, actually, can we take Berlin? <laughs> I didn't plan on pushing so hard. I think I can't take the navy because I technically don't own a port yet. Look at this beautiful country I just created. It's almost worse than normal Hungary. <laughs> It's communist Hungary, I'm sorry. Czechs People's Republic. You are missing a few Slovakia in this part. And now we can move on to Japan. Japan is at war with a few people. And I genuinely don't know how I'm supposed to do anything here. I can end this game. I can end the game. All of it. And I think Japan has the... Yeah, they deleted all of the divisions again. I'm not sure if they deleted them. But at some point they just... Like they sometimes just don't have any divisions anymore. After they lose in China. <laughs> What is this? You get 5% recruitable pop? I don't get it. There's nothing to do in this focus tree. Straight up, if they didn't add any communist focus, but instead gave you the communist advisor, that would have been this exact same game. I didn't do anything with my focus tree here. Sure, I took Czechoslovakia. 